This is a really cool, fun little project to do with a little CNC. Using Inkscape and a program called JS Cut, we can make a sundial that's specific to any particular location. And a lot of folks don't realize that sundials are very specific to where they are. So generically made ones are going to be pretty inaccurate. So the first thing we do, we need our latitude. So there are a lot of places online you can go to. Latlong.net works really well. I'm in Maryland, so I just picked a location at the ocean. So I did Ocean City, Maryland. Go to find. <clears throat> and here's our latitude, because we need our specific latitude to make this dial. So we're going to copy this. And go to our sundial program. This is another free online program. Here's the address, blocklayer.com. Put in your latitude. Calculate. You can see this changed a little bit. So now this is specific to Ocean City, Maryland. So there's our sundial. The other thing we need is the gnomon, which is our triangle that we'll glue down. And this, of course, is specific as well. So as our location changed on the sundial, this ratio changed also. So we want to copy this, bring it into Inkscape, turn it into a bitmap trace, and then work with it from there. So we need to grab our screen snip of that, that sundial. So let's go ahead and make a new screen snip. Copy this whole thing. Come back over to Inkscape and paste this in. Now at this point we've got a paste here, but we can't do anything with the CNC just as a paste here. We need to switch this over to a bitmap trace. Trace bitmap. And as far as the thresholds here, this is kind of light, so I've raised this to 0 .800, 0 .800. We click OK. You see this got darker, there's our trace, and we can split these off. So we've got our trace here. This was our original, and we can delete that now. And here we've got our location-specific sundial. I'm going to hold the control button down and make this a little bit smaller and then we can put a border around it. And that was reduced in size just a little bit. And since we want a cutout of this around the outside, do a box, and let's push this down to the bottom. So we can see our sundial. And why don't we curve these edges a little bit more, kind of like around round edge. And this outside line will be our cutout, and the inside will be the sundial. So we'll put a couple tabs on the outside. and we'll just move these in. Then we're going to save this as an SVG, open it up in JS Cut, and set up our toolpaths. We saved our shape here, our sundial, as well as our outside as an SVG. Went over to JS Cut and opened up our saved SVG file. So for our speed, I don't want this to go too fast. We can go to 50. <clears throat> Our past depth is pretty shallow. This is thin plywood. I don't want to go too deep. 0 0.0325. Our end mill is also pretty small. 0 0.0325. Click on our shape. Create operation. And this is going to be outside. This is our outside cut, and this is what's going to cut it out of the wood. So we're going to change this to Uh, 
0.135. This is our outside cut, and we go to Generate. This is our outside line. Then we're going to click on our sundial for our engraving. Sometimes you have to try a couple times until you get just the blue. So that went blue. Create an operation. We're going to do an engrave because we want this right on the line. 0 0.0325 is fine. And you can see that went to yellow. And the other thing is to do our tabs. So for tabs, I usually do about half of what our outside cut is. Say about 0 0.06. And go to Create. And Simulate. And we can kind of see, see what we've got going on here. So we'll save this and open it up in Mock and go from there. First, working on our outline cut. After the CNC cut, so we need to take this out, clean it up, and see what we have. There's our cutout sundial. The next thing is to set up the CNC to do the gnomon in exactly the same pattern, and then we'll glue that down onto the 12 o'clock mark because that goes to true north. Cutting out the gnomon. We've got our gnomon right here. This was another dial I was working on, trying to conserve some plywood. So we'll cut out our gnomon. We've got our tabs holding that in. So we'll get this guy out and glue him down on our sundial. There's the finished sundial, specific for a particular location. The generic ones are going to be very inaccurate, but if it's set for the right latitude, these can be surprisingly close, very, very close in time. For the Nomen, just use some gel glue, and it's surprisingly strong. Another option for this would be to make a groove in the dial for this to sit into, or make it thicker and run some screws from underneath. But there's the dial, kind of cool. With the extra space, could do some engraving, some location specific information, maybe the latitude and longitude, some personalization. Came out pretty neat. Fun project and easy to do. This could also be made out of cardboard or any other number of products. Thanks very much for taking a look.